you understand that it's not an optimal time um, to to have someone uh, new come in and, and run the bench and run the program. 23 games into the season. Not the ideal time, but also not that surprising of a move. The Toronto Maple Leafs announcing late Wednesday afternoon that they fired head coach Mike Babcock after a six-game losing streak and a less than impressive start to the season. I don't think it's any any one person to point the blame at, coach or player. So I think that that's the challenge for Sheldon, our current, our entire coaching staff, and our players to have better communication and get this sorted out. And I believe they will. Leafs president Brendan Shanahan speaking just ahead of tonight's game in Phoenix against the Coyotes on the decision to cut Babcock loose just five seasons into his eight-year deal. But why now? Did they feel that Babcock had lost the team? I, I don't know if I'd characterize it that, that way, that, that a coach had lost the room. I, I just think that, that, you know, certainly from a player's perspective, um, you know, you could see the frustration uh, in their eyes and you could, you uh, I really thought, even in our last game, that the players were working really hard, but there, there was a sort of a belief missing in them. The Leafs and their fans hope that Babcock could bring the Stanley Cup magic he brought to the Detroit Red Wings and his impressive record with Team Canada to Toronto. But he never lived up to that $50 million price tag. You know, it's tough to see someone go, uh, you know, whether it's a teammate, a coach, uh, you know, anything. So, um, you know, all around tough day, but it's important that as a group we rebound and you know, we come to the ring tonight and, you know, prepare to answer. Yeah, it's different. Um, you know, I think it's just the uh, kind of unfortunate part of the business. Uh, you know, we haven't been playing well and, uh, you know, management thought, uh, you know, felt the uh, change needed to be made. So, um, you know, obviously it doesn't rest just on the coach, it's on the players as well. You feel definitely uh, a lot of that burden and, and not playing up to expectation and, uh, you know, the standards we have for ourselves. So I think there's uh, definitely a sense of responsibility. And now a changing of the guard behind the bench in hopes of sparking new hope into the team. We'd like to formally introduce Sheldon Keefe as the 31st head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sheldon Keefe is the new bench boss for the Leafs, hoping to lead the team to glory. The reasonable expectations for me would be that we, we have good players here. We have, a, we have a good team. I think my message to the players today is that I'm not focused on what this team isn't. I'm focused on what this team is. And we've got really good people here. We've got a lot of talent. And we have the ability to make life hard on the other team in a lot of ways. Uh, so focusing on that, um, we believe, will we'll come with, will we'll produce positive results. As for the team, it seems the best remedy for a messy situation is getting back to what this is really all about, hockey. I think for everyone involved in a situation like this game tonight, it's probably easiest on the players, quite frankly. I mean, they're just, they're just here to play hockey. Sportsnet's Elliot Friedman is reporting that the Leafs have hired the new, or signed rather, the head coach to a new three-year contract. He will get his first test as the head coach behind one of the most storied team in the NHL tonight when the Leafs are in Phoenix.